kiddos, it's story time again. And today we're reading Two Old Potatoes and Me. This is a fun story about a kid and their dad having a good time planting in the garden. I wonder if those potatoes are gonna grow. Hmm, let's see, come on. Story time. Two Old Potatoes and Me by John Coy. Pictures by Carolyn Fisher. Last spring at my dad's house, I found two old potatoes in the back of the cupboard. They were so old. Sprouts were growing from their eyes. Gross! I tossed them in the trash. Wait, Dad said. I think we can grow new potatoes with those. I'll call your grandpa. He'll know. After talking with Grandpa, Dad and I took the potatoes to the sunniest spot in the garden. We dug. We picked out rocks. We raked the soil smooth. Dad carefully cut the potatoes into nine pieces with his jackknife. I made sure each piece had at least one yellow sprout. Dad dug nine small holes. I put a piece of potato with the eye facing up in each hole. Then I covered them with dirt to make little hills. Dad got the hose and I watered it gently. In May, green plants poked up like caterpillars unfolding. We got down on our knees and picked weeds. We shoveled compost onto each hill. Won't that smother the plants? No, they'll grow through it. Are we really going to get new potatoes from the old potatoes? I think so, said Dad. In June, the plants grew bigger. Violet flowers blossomed and we added more compost. When we watered, I accidentally sprayed my dad with the hose. He laughed and sprayed me back. In July, when the plants were all tall as my waist, we picked potato beetles off the leaves. Gross! I dropped them in a pail of soapy water. We have to do this, Dad said. Otherwise, the bugs will eat the leaves and the potatoes won't grow. In August, some of the plants turned brown and withered. Are they dead? No, said Dad. The potatoes are growing underground. Um, are you sure? I hope so. That's what your grandpa said. We weeded, we watered, we waited. Now, on a cool September day, Dad and I sit on the bench in the front of the garden. How's your bedroom at your mom's house coming? Dad asks. Good. Mom and I painted it periwinkle. Periwinkle. I like that color. I bet it looks good. You can see it on Friday when you pick me up. Okay. Dad says, it will be Periwinkle Friday. 
we get up and we walk to the garden. What's your favorite way to eat potatoes? Dad asks. Mashed with lots of butter and a sprinkle of nutmeg for good luck. Mmm, that's my favorite too. Let's see what's under these hills. Dad gets the garden fork from the shed and I carry the big bucket. Dad digs at the first hill. Nothing but dirt. He digs again. More dirt. <sighs> After all that work, I say. Dad hands me the fork. You try. I dig deep. I lift the fork and I see seven golden shapes. Potatoes, I shout. Look at those spuds, Dad says. I bend down, pick up a potato, rub the dirt off its skin, and set it in the bucket. One potato, two potato, three potato, four, five potato, six potato, seven potato, more. Each hill has lots of potatoes. Some are small, some are big, some have funny faces. 51 potato, 52 potato, 53 potato, 54, 55 potato, 56 potato, 57 potato more. I count 67 and our bucket is overflowing. All this from two old potatoes. Yes, Dad rubs my head. Ready to dig into those potatoes you grew? Yeah, I'm hungry. And here's a recipe to make your own mashed potatoes. The end. Well, that was interesting. I learned a lot about gardening and how plants grow and how we can eat some yummy vegetables that we grow if we're willing to work and wait a while while they grow. They made yummy mashed potatoes. Wow. Don't forget to subscribe. A new story comes out every week. You can pick a simple read aloud like this one where you sit back and listen or you can do a read and explore where you interact with me as we make predictions, think of how the characters feel, and just explore and talk about the story. It's just fun. Either one, I'll be there for you. So I'll see you next time. J Don Mom, story time. Bye.